Tonight's pretty much a holiday for all you college basketball fans out there. Midnight Madness, everybody. Yep. But, you know, it's me, Cutizzle Cali, just doing what I do best, talking about sports. And I'm just going to talk about this one guy who's been getting a lot of exposure lately, even though he, he only averaged six points last season as a freshman. But I'm going to talk about James Michael McAdoo. Yep, the North Carolina Tar Heel sophomore who's expected by most to have a, a breakout season. And like I said, it's Midnight Madness tonight. I'm all looking forward to watching all the events through ESPN3 since I don't have ESPNU at my house. But uh, James Michael McAdoo... He is expected to take the lead role for North Carolina after the departures of Tyler Zeller, Harrison Barnes, John Henson, and, and Kendall Marshall. Now, James McAdoo, he was always one of the, the top-ranked players from the class of 2011 when he was in high school. He attended Norfolk Christian High School in Virginia, and James McAdoo was a member of Team USA's U16 team, team that, that won gold medal in 2009 for the FIBA America's U16 championships and he was also a member of the, the U17 team that won gold in the 2010 U17 championships in Germany he was on that team like along with Bradley Bill, Michael Kidd Gilchrist, Tony Roten, Marcus Teague, the list goes on and James McAdoo he was also McDonald's American in the year 2011 where he was the MVP of both the McDonald's all well co-MVP of the McDonald's All-American game and he was also the co-MVP for the Jordan Brand game so 2011 the year he graduated high school that was a really big year for him and James McAdoo's junior year originally tried reclassifying to the class of 2010 so he could play for the Tar Heels a year early but that never ended up happening and James McAdoo's freshman season as a Tar Heel, it wasn't anything like what most expected like at all. James McAdoo came off the bench his freshman year at North Carolina. Well, he played behind Harrison Barnes and John Henson, who both ended up being lottery picks in this year's draft. Well, why did James McAdoo come off the bench? Because North Carolina, like always, had such a, a loaded lineup. And... Somebody had to not start between, well, Tyler Zeller, John Henson, Harrison Barnes. That was their front court. Well, and James McAdoo, since he was the only one who, who he was his first year. And Harrison Barnes, who was the preseason All-American. And John Henson, the reigning ACC Defensive Player of the Year. And their, their four-year player, Tyler Zeller. So that made sense why James McAdoo didn't start for the North Carolina Tar Heels. But let's say like he played at, Vir he chose Virginia instead of North Carolina. He would have been a, like, probably a top five pick in this year's 2012 NBA draft. And McAdoo, he made the decision in May to stay for his sophomore season and not enter the NBA draft. Which was a smart choice for him, because if he would have entered, he probably just would have been like a, a mid-late first round pick. This year, he can be a top five pick. So that was totally the right decision made by James McAdoo. And I expect McAdoo to have a very similar breakthrough season to what Thomas Robinson from Kansas had last year. Because they, were, they both came off the bench, then they became like one of the best players in the nation the year after that. Even though James McAdoo was a bl more of a high-profile recruit, and Thomas Robinson, he was kind of just a nobody until his junior year at Kansas. But I still think they're gonna. It's gonna be very similar to Thomas Robinson's junior year. And the only thing I really find questionable about James McAdoo is that there were games last year when he would play like over 20 minutes a game and score from two to six points, but. He was obviously less confident. He probably lost a lot of confidence from when he found out that he wasn't going to start. Uh, it's going to be different this year, and I think he most likely will be 
a college All-American candidate this year and a top five pick of the 2013 NBA draft. And yeah, I'm really looking forward to watching the North Carolina Tar Heels and James McAdoo this upcoming year. Yep, Midnight Madness tonight. Hope you're all watching it with me. All right, Q Dizzle Cali, subscribe. Laters.